Welcome to the demonstration of one of the key acceleration features, the acceleration of CGNAT session setup and logging with NP7. To deliver security that keeps pace with the scale and performance demands that our service provider customers face, the NP7, which is the seventh generation of Fortinet's custom-built network processor, provides acceleration for some core service provider features, and the first of which is the CGNAT hardware session setup and logging. With the hardware acceleration that NP7 provides, we get consistent ultra-high performance of 2 million connections per second per NP7. And not only that, because this is hardware accelerated, we see predictable and linear performance with low latency which we'll show in the upcoming demo. But first, let's take a quick look at the theory of what session setup acceleration actually means. As you see with the pink highlighted part to host session setup, this actually means that the SYN, SYNAC, and ACK for TCP sessions, or the first packet of a session for UDP sessions, would typically need to be handled in the CPU. As you can see, the session then gets accelerated for data traffic, which is pushed to NP6 for hardware handling. Now on the right side, you can see the huge difference now with NP7, where all the session setup packets are accelerated by NP7. The demo scenario we are showing today is a scenario typical for most of our service providers using 40 gates as CGNAT devices. This 40 gate handles millions of connections per second with NAT, and for compliance needs, logging is enabled for every session. We have three key scenarios we want to show. The first is the typical CGNAT provider use case where we demonstrate 8 million connections per second and 310 million sessions on the 40 gate 4200F. And the next part is to show the maximum bandwidth with the 40 gate 4200 handling almost 797 gigabits per second of throughput. And lastly, it's a combined test to show all of the different traffic factors together on the 40 gate 4200F. On the top two rows, you can see the GUI for the 4200F, where we are monitoring the sessions, as well as connections per second setup rate. In the middle plane, we monitor the CPU usage of the 4200F, and at below that, we show the entire bandwidth that the 40 gate 4200F is processing. And on the right-hand side, we have also two additional ports because we are sending a huge amount of connections per second. The log traffic is also very high and we want to highlight that. At the bottom part is our traffic generator where we are showing the total amount of traffic used to generate this specific test case. Let's take a look at the test. The first test, traffic ramps up with the total of session setup reaching the 8 million connections per second, which is the first test case that we want to highlight in the demonstration. As you can see, we are using UDP traffic to hit the 8 million new connections per second opened. At the same time, on the left hand side, you can see a total of 310 million concurrent connections. And we're going to be keeping most of these connections, concurrent connections throughout the test to simulate a real service provider environment with a large number of sessions. And there are no packets drops during the session creation for this specific test. And you can see throughout, there was also zero CPU utilized in the middle plane. For our next test, we are going to start with the maximum throughput. This test is going to run for a total of about 180 seconds with the maximum throughput of around 798 gigabits per second. As you can see on the left hand side, we still maintain the total number of concurrent connections and there are no packets dropped throughout the max throughput 
which is approximately 800 gigabits per second if we include VLANs headers as well. And the last part of the test is really a combined test, including the connections per second, throughput, all of these factors at the same time. And on the right hand corner, you can see the zero log count. That is a port on our tester, which we are using to count the total number of logs. Given the CGNet scenario, each of the connections that are set up has a corresponding log generated. And our goal is to show the total number of connections that we can set up are equal to the number of logs that are sent in a combined test, which is the 5 million connections per second that we are generating with 375 million concurrent connections. And you can see all of this traffic is accelerated. So zero CPU utilization and a total of 13 gigabits per second of log with the 720 gigabits per second. Even with the 5 million connections per second, we have a very low HTTP response time as HTTP is used to generate the 5 million connections per second. Now what's unique about the NP7 here is especially that the number of transactions attempted are equal to successful as well as closed without error. What this means to us is that the total number of connections with the 5 million connection setup rate that we have have been opened and closed successfully without any errors at all. And what's even more unique for NP7 with the CGNet use case is the box on the right which shows the Spiron test center. This port is monitoring the total number of packets that have been received on this port. And this is a specific port that we are using to send out the log traffic. So what this essentially means is that every single connection that we open and is sustained on the Forti gate has its corresponding log sent out from hardware by the Forti gate as well. And this is definitely going to be a game changing factor and something that is really interesting for our CGNet customers. So you can see there is a total of no logs dropped throughout the entire test. And given that this is a combined test, total of all of the traffic counters match with the TX transmit and receive. In summary, we have no sessions drop no logs drop and no packets drop, even with the large amount of 796 gigabits per second with the high number of concurrent connections, as well as the high connections per second with background traffic on all of the connections. Hopefully this is an interesting demo and I'm sure it's going to be really interesting for our customers with CGNet use cases and I hope you have enjoyed it.